Let us look at advanced features of file management in this lesson. In the previous lesson, we learned how to create folders and how to create files. Now we are going to look at how we organize these folders and files. Sometimes we have a congested desktop which has so many folders and files. So we can reorganize them in this way. I have researched all of these folders. I don't want them on the desktop. So I'm going to relocate them by moving them to another place. If I come to File Explorer, I have various locations where I can put. But when I come to this PC, under this PC, leave drive C alone. Don't store anything on it. But you have logical drives here on your computer where you can store. If you don't have a logical drive, you can create it. But this lesson will not take us into that. But those of you who have logical drives, now we are not going to save anything on drive C because this is for technicians. But we are going to use this logical drive and we save our work. So we are going to move it from the desktop and we put it onto this drive. How do we do this? I'm going to minimize this. So you select the folder. Now we want to select all of these at once. So hold down the control button on the keyboard. Press click on all the folders you want. So a tick will come on all of them to mean that they are selected. Then right click on one of them. And then you click cut. So they will become faint to show that they are they are cut. Then we are going to go to File Explorer to determine the location where I want to put them. So you are going to come to this PC, then open the drive you want to put. It could be a flash. If you had put a flash disk, it could be a flash. It will show here. Then open the drive you want to put them. Then right click anywhere on the white screen and click paste. So as you can see, these folders have come here. If we go back to the desktop, I scroll up and I navigate to the desktop, those folders are no longer there. I have moved them. So that is moving folders. The same process works on the files. But if I want to make a backup, if I want to make a copy of the file, and I just don't want to delete, to move it, but I just want to make a copy of it. Let us see how we can do that. So to do that, you right click a folder, like this folder here, Typing Skills, I'm going to right click, but this time I'm not going to cut. I'm going to use the copy button. So I'll copy, then I navigate using File Explorer. I navigate to go where I want to put it. So I go to this PC. I look for the drive where I want to put it. I open that drive. Then I right click and I paste. So as you can see, I have typing skills here. But when you go back to the desktop, still typing skills is there. So that is just making a copy of the file. When do we need this? So sometimes you're working on a document and you want to have that document transferred to another computer. So that is yet at the same time, you don't want to delete that document. 
So that is when we use the copy and the paste. For example, I have this flash here and I want to transfer the document to the flash. However, I don't want to delete that document. So I'm going to press this flash into my co into the computer. If I go to File Explorer, then I go to this PC. So if I put my flash, so you see this, a new drive has come, which is the flash. So I'll go to the desktop or wherever the document is, it could be in my documents. So I am going to my documents now and I'm go going to copy this file lesson for. So I right click and I'm going to copy. And I'll go to this PC. I open the drive. I right click and I paste. So as you can see, lesson four has come to the flash, it is there, which means now when I remove my flash, it will be there. But when I go back to documents, it is still there as well. So I can now successfully remove my flash from the computer. So I've removed the flash and it's no longer visible here. But this flash has that document, and at the same time, the document remains on my PC. But if I don't want this document to remain on the PC, possibly the PC was for a frame, it was not mine. And I did my coursework onto the document, onto his PC or laptop. So there I have to use copy, I have to use cut and paste. So again, I'm going to put back my flash to the computer. Then I'm going to look for my work wherever it is. Say it is on the desktop. This time I'm going to right click and I'm going to use the cut. So after cutting, I go, I look for my flash. I right click, then I'll paste. So if you go now to the desktop and you check, Typing skills folder is not there. So it means if I remove this flash from my computer, it means that document, when I go back to the desktop, it is no longer there. Now this document is on my flash. Then deleting. We can delete files, we can delete folders, the same thing. So you right click and you delete. So when you delete a document, it will go inside a folder on the desktop, which is called Recycle Bill. This doesn't mean it's deleted from the computer, no. It is still there. It can be restored. So when you open the Recycle Bin, you find that the document you have deleted is there. So you can restore that document and it goes back to its original place by right-clicking on it and you choose Restore. So when I go back to Documents, you can see Staff Minutes has come back. But if I want to delete it permanently, I will click on it, then I hold the Shift key on the keyboard and I press the Delete button on the computer, so it is asking me that it wants to delete the panel I will say yes. So when you go to the recycle bin, that document is not there, it has been deleted permanently, and you can never get it again. Remember, documents you delete from the flash, they, they are deleted permanently, they don't go inside the recycle bin. Only documents you delete on the computer go inside the recycle bin. But when you Hold the shift key and you press delete on the keyboard, that document will never appear again. So this is the end of our lessons on file management. Next lesson, we 